السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study unit 3 our wonderful world Listen to Please open your skills book to page 22 This page What are the aims of this lesson? Let's check Unit 3 Our wonderful wallet Listen to Skills book pages 22 and 23 Activities 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 the aims in this lesson student as well read descriptions and match them to their pictures do a reading grace ask and answer questions about locations and capital cities sort letters to form words find a hidden message let's go to page 22 of your skills book Unit 3 Our Wonderful World Reading and Understanding Section Activity 1 Read and Answer Read the texts Circle the countries and the cities Dear students, you are asked here to scan these texts You don't need to read each text in detail Try to find and circle the countries and cities then come back and I will read the texts and circle the countries and cities in order to check your answers. Hello again. Dear students, we have here four students. Sultan, Saif, Hind, and Dana. And we have four texts. Let's read the texts and circle the countries and cities. Last month, I went on safari in Rwanda. I saw lots of different animals. My favorite was the giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animal in the world. They can grow up to 5.5 meters and weigh up to 900 kilograms. Yes, we have a country here. Rwanda, yes. Last winter, I went to Paris. It is a beautiful city, but it was much colder than Oman. The best part of the holiday was a boat trip on the river scene. We sailed for about 5 kilometers and saw many famous buildings. Here we have Paris, it is a city, and we have Oman, it's a country. Last week, my class visited the Royal Opera House. I think it is the prettiest building in Muscat. It opened in 211. I really enjoyed the visit and took some nice pictures for my English project. Yes, we have here Muscat. It is a city. Last summer, I went to China with my family. We visited the Shanghai Tower. It is the tallest building in China. It is 632 meters tall. I bought some presents for my friends from the gift shop. Yes, we have here China. It's a country. Now let's go to activity two. Read and match. Read the texts in activity one again. Match the pictures to the children from activity one. Write the correct name under each picture. You are asked to read the texts again. Then try to match the pictures to the children. You can write the correct name under each picture. Here save because save visited the Royal Opera House in Muscat and this is done for you 
and here you have a giraffe the shanghai tower in china and the eiffel tower in paris you are asked to write the correct name under each picture then come back to check your answers hello again i write the names of the children under the pictures yes here number two sultan why because sultan went on safari in rwanda and he saw the giraffe number three is dana why because she went to china and visited the shanghai tower yes and here we have hind why because hind went to paris let's go to activity three read and complete read the texts in activity one again complete the table you are asked here to read the texts again and complete this table giraffe's height giraffe's weight length of hind's boat trip height of the shanghai tower in this activity you will revise measurements that you studied last year in grade four take your time to complete the table then come back to check your answers hello again yes giraffe's height 5.5 meters and we can write it 5.5 m giraffe's weight 900 kilograms yes and we can write it 900 key g length of hindi's boat trip five kilometers yes five kilo meters and we can write it five key m height of the shanghai tower 632 meters and we can write it 632 m let's go to page 23 activity 4 do a reading grace look at these questions work in groups and find the answers you are asked to look at these questions and work in groups to find the answers but you can do this activity at home let's read the questions well let facts quiz question one what's the capital of the uae question two where is the eiffel tower question three what's the capital of china question four where is the arizona desert question five what's the capital of england question six where is mount fuji question seven what's the capital of jordan question eight where is the great wall question nine what's the capital of nigeria question 10 where is the river nile take your time to answer these questions then come back to check your answers hello again i will write the answers and i will write short answers only the place what's the capital of the uae yes it's abu dhabi Where is the Eiffel Tower in France? I will write only France. What's the capital of China? Beijing or Pekin, but here Beijing. Where is the Arizona desert in the USA? I will write USA. What's the capital of England? Yes, London.
Where is Mount Fuji? Yes, it's in Japan. And I write only Japan. Seven. What's the capital of Jordan? Yes, excellent. Amman. Where is the Great Wall in China? And I will write only China. What's the capital of Nigeria? Abuja. Excellent. Where is the River Nile? Yes, excellent. It's in Egypt. And I will write only Egypt. Thank you. Working with words. Activity 5. Complete the puzzle. Sort the letters to make words. You are asked here to sort the letters to make words in order to complete the puzzle and to find the hidden message. Okay? Take your time to complete this puzzle and to find the hidden message, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. The first one is done for you. Yes, mountain. B. Excellent. Desert. Let's write it. Yes. Desert. C is river. Excellent. D. Tower. E. Park. Excellent. Yes. F. Zoo. G. Waterfall. And the last one is building. Yes. Thank you. Use the letters to find the hidden message. Write it in the space. Yes, dear students, I need your help to find the hidden message. Yes, number one, O. Write capital O. Number two, U, and this is done. Number three, R, excellent. Number four is W, yes. Number five, O. Number six, R. Number seven, L. And number eight is D. So, the hidden message is our wallet. Excellent. Let's write it here. Thank you. By this we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.